Hello guys, how's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing great. You're watching Minecraft Sekai and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Build series where we try and build a medieval castle. If you've watched the previous episode, you'll know that we have finished the first and most inner bailey, as you can see here. And if you remember, I said that we are going to have three separate baileys that are going to make out this castle. Which means we are going to check out the plan for those first. But before we start, why don't you drop a like on this video, it really helps with the whole YouTube algorithm thing, and I would very much appreciate it. And while you're down there, consider subscribing so you don't miss any episode of our series here. And here we go with the layout of the rest of the castle, as you can see we have the remaining two baileys over here all planned out. All planned out. We have this bigger one over here, this large one, and then this really small bailey on the right, right here. Um, this one won't contain much details, it's gonna mainly function as a murder zone for the castle if it goes under siege. It mainly gonna contain some uh, carts and just some minor details like supplies and stuff like that. Over here, if you follow my cursor, uh, we have what's going to be the castle garden. It's gonna contain some trees and shrubs and um, so just some vegetation and all that a garden needs. Right here next to the garden we have what's going to be the tavern. As you can see this um, square here, this 15, this is a 15 by 15 square and we have this diagonal thing attached to it. Yeah, so these are going to be the tavern for the guards and the, yeah, all the castle inhabitants I guess except for the Lord, uh, if they want to relax and grab a drink. Right here next to the um, tavern, we have what's going to be the stables. As you can see, you have one, two, three, and four stables over here. I'm not sure if this is enough. If it's not, if I decide it's not enough, I could add more um, stables right here. But yeah, that's that, and I've already talked about this bailey. Essentially, we have two gatehouses right here, so the enemy gets trapped inside the bailey, and then we have two towers right here and walls surrounding it. But yeah, that's that. Over here, if we go over here, we have um, what's going to be, this diagonal building is going to be the butcher's building right here. We have a tower attached to it, and attached to that, we have a uh, uh, this square or rectangle rather right here that's going to be the blacksmith's house right next to the blacksmith over here on the left we have what's going to be the barracks so yeah that's that and for this episode what we're gonna build is three buildings or four if you count this tower so we're gonna build the barracks right here and the blacksmith the butcher and this tower in addition to these um, walls over here, we have this wall, we're gonna build this wall, this one connecting these two buildings, and this one over here as well. So yeah, that's what I planned for this episode. Um, for the next episode, we could build the garden and the tavern and, and the stables, and for the next episode after that, we could build the this remaining bailey and the bridge. And with that, we're gonna um, finish the whole castle build. So yeah, that's that. Now, let's get straight into uh, the time lapse and I'll catch you after that.
I hope you guys enjoyed that time lapse, and I gotta say, we've done some real progress in this episode. Um, we've built this uh, barracks building over here, this huge building. I really like that roof design. Uh, we've built the blacksmith's building and the butcher's building, in addition to these um, walls and that tower that's squeezed in between the two buildings. And as usual, I've done interior for all of these buildings over here. And uh, let, let me take you through a little tour of what we have so far. Here we are, starting at the barracks building over here. So as we get through this door on the ground floor right here, we have two rooms where the guards sleep. So here we have bunk beds right here. We have one, two, three, four, and five right there. So five bunk beds, which means 10 beds. And here we have tables with uh, the guards items, some items for the guards, you know, right there on the tables. Um, helmets, cups, and books and stuff. But yeah, that's one room. Next door, we have another room right here. This one is a little bit smaller. We have four bunk beds, which means eight beds right there. We have tables and discs and all that stuff. You know, similar to the other room, just a little bit different. But yeah, that's where the guards sleep. And right here... <laughs> Before we get up to the next level, underneath the stairs, we have some uh, some supplies here. Some supplies, chests, um, barrels, and all that stuff. And yeah, let's get to the next level. So using these stairs, we'll get over here, and this is where the guards actually eat all their meals, I, I think. So as you can see, you have some foods right there on these logs that are, are representing tables, and uh, stairs representing chairs. And yeah, just a nice dining hall area where the guards eat their daily meals. And from this um, floor here, we get access to the walls that are actually attached to the barracks building. So we get access to this wall over here using these, this um, door right here and these ladders. And if we get up these stairs, we can get access to the other wall using this door over here. You can see the wall on the other side, on this side, right here. And yeah, that's that. Now, if we, if we continue up this these stairs, we get up to the next level, where we have two ladders here that take us to the next level. We'll get to that later, but here we have the Lord Commander's room. You know, the... The, the guy who commands the guards, give them their jobs and their daily their daily tasks, I guess. So yeah, this is where um, he sleeps. Right here, this is his bed. And we have some armor over here, his glicken armor, I guess. We have this uh, bookshelf right here that's very decorated. And um, we have paintings, and he's got a disc right here where he can read. Um, relax a bit, have a drink or something. Uh, one thing that I failed to actually add here is a table where he um, eats because he I don't think he would be eating with the guards downstairs or maybe he would eat only dinner and uh, lunch there. He would eat uh, breakfast and other smaller meals over here. But yeah, I failed to add a table and a chair here. I'll add that later. But yeah. I guess that's all there is to it for this room. We have a window here and a smaller one over here to the side. We have an arrow slit here and I guess that's all there is to it. But yeah, let's get out of here and go up top to the top floor. So, using these ladders, we get over here and here we, and here we have the map room. So as you can see, you have a giant map right here and this is the area that we are currently building at. This is the um, island that we're bu building the um, castle on, as you can see, this island. We have another giant island next to it right here. This is a really big island. And we have other islands surrounding that. And uh, maybe we could do some giant project over here. So as you can see, this is a big island. We could build a medieval city or anything right there. Uh, we're gonna have other projects on the other islands. We're gonna have other pro projects over here on this landmass or this over here. 
But yeah, that's all for the future. And that is all there is to it for this uh, map room. We have a beautiful ceiling right there with the, with the uh, chandelier, other lights surrounding here, and of course the battlements, crenellations and machicolations, and these towers right here atop the um, barracks building. And yeah, I guess that concludes our tour for the barracks building. Now let's go and see what's in the other buildings. Now let's get to the blacksmith's house next to this shooting shooting range thing right here where, ha where we have these targets and yeah the guards can train and test their shooting abilities with the bow and the crossbow right here in the shooting range. But yeah next to that there is the blacksmith. So we're gonna be looking at the workshop of the blacksmith first and then the actual house. So. Right here, as you can see, we have the, uh, obviously, the blacksmith's forge, this giant uh, thing <laughs> right here. And uh, we have an anvil with a sword on top of it. We have some armor that the blacksmith made, or maybe he's fixing. Uh, tools as well over here. And uh, we have a grindstone. As you can see, we have um, firewood right here. Obviously, the blacksmith will need a lot of firewood to fuel this beast of a forge right here so yeah there's a lot of firewood over there and here we have a door leading us to a storage slash working room right here where the blacksmith i guess sits uh, to work on some stuff some broken um tools i guess and here we have a table with some uh, with a sword and a helmet on top of it. We have armor right here, so yeah, this is a storage room. We have armor, we have uh, shelving right here for the various weapons and armor and uh, tools that the blacksmith made. And we have some firewood right here, we have a, bar a barrel of water, we have another barrel right here, it contains god knows what. <laughs> I don't know, even nails or horseshoes or something like that. Um, but yeah, I guess that's all there is to it for this um, workshop area for the blacksmith. Now let's get into the actual house. So from the front door here, as we get inside, we have the kitchen. So as you can see, we have this oven or a furnace where they cook their, um, their meat. Their meat, um, bread, potatoes, and all that stuff, cake. But yeah, that's the uh, furnace or oven. And here we have this counter with, uh, I failed to add a chair right here. Yeah, I'm not doing interior properly in this episode. <laughs> but yeah, I should have added a chair right here. Uh, but yeah, this is the counter where they, where they prepare food. And here, right above the counter, we have some shelving with some meat and just some various stuff and items. And underneath the stairs right here that takes us up to the next level, we have some supplies. Beetroot, carrots, apples, other chests that we don't know what is there, what they're containing. <laughs> but yeah, we have some firewood right here as well, so they can fuel this oven. This is a big oven as well. <laughs> they're gonna need a lot of fuel. But yeah, as we get on top using this, these stairs, um, here, in this floor, we have the rooms where the family sleeps. Um, next to the stairs, right here, we have a fireplace, so uh, it generates heat for them, and of course we have the firewood. So yeah, it generates heat to heat up the rooms right here, so they would open the doors, I guess, <laughs> for the heat to get in. Um, but yeah, here we have the parents' rooms. We have a double bed right there. We have a little um, cabinet thing with um, a flower pot on top. And we have a disc right here for writing, reading, and all that stuff. And yeah, that's the humble room of the blacksmith and his, and his wife. And here is where the children sleep. This is the children's room. We have one, two, three, so I guess they have three children's. And yeah, this is where they sleep. These are their bits, their items over here, 
and I didn't really do all that heavy <laughs> uh, interior in this place. Yeah, interior is a very hard thing to do, so I don't, th I don't really enjoy doing it, but I guess I have to. And yeah, that concludes our tour of the blacksmith's house. Now let's get into the butcher. So as you can see, right next to the butcher's house, we have an area where they store animals. So the best, the best way to store meat is uh, in livestock, actually. Because chopping down animals and storing meat, uh, that way the meat will, may decay, you know. But storing them right here alive is, uh, is, is pretty good, pretty efficient. So yeah, we have this thing over here inside the castle. But yeah, uh, before, again, we get to the actual living quarters of the blacksmith and his family, let's get inside the massacre area. <laughs> As you can see, we have um, uh, meat right here, hanging from chains and blood. And yeah, this is uh, where, where the butcher chops the animals. This is where he slaughters them and hangs their... their meat right here I have some meat right there and yeah this is the working area super bloody um now let's get into the actual living quarters of the blacksmith and his family so as we enter from this door we have nothing here i didn't add anything as, as i said the <laughs> the um, interior process is not really that much fun so i don't really enjoy doing it um, but yeah, if we, uh, as we enter from this door, we have the kitchen right here, a counter, some furnaces right here, a boiling cauldron, I guess it contains stew, the, the cooking stew, and we can actually get into the working area where, working room, where the butcher, butchers, the animals right here from this door, and yeah, this is the kitchen. I have some shelving right there, and that's all there is to it. And if we get up top using this ladder, um, we can get into this floor where we have the rooms where the family sleeps. Right here, I have some um, supplies and stuff. And we have another room here where we have other more supplies right here, firewood, meat. Um, carrots, uh, apples, and berries, even honey. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's that's that. Now let's get into the rooms. This is the children's room. I guess they have three um, children right here sleeping in this room. We have their items right there on these cabinets and their beds. And here is the parents. Um, room right here. We have their bed right here. We have a double bed uh, a Cabinet with a flower pot on top and we have a little tiny disc here in addition to this fireplace so they can heat them themselves up For the children's room here. I guess they get the heat from Downstairs because right underneath this room if you noticed there is that uh, boiling cauldron thing right here so I guess they get the heat from here yeah they don't need a fireplace right next to the room or inside the room and I guess all of that concludes our tour of what we have so far um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I hope you liked all of this progress that we've managed to do, to do in this episode and yeah, don't forget to drop a like on this video, it really, really helps uh, with all that YouTube algorithm thing, so uh, more people can watch it, and also sharing, share the video, and subscribe so you can get notified whenever I upload a new awesome episode of our series here, and yeah, thank you so much for watching, see you on another one.